Hello Internet, Review Dude here. In my pretty little hand I hold my brand new voice recorder. There it is, straight from eBay, straight to me. Alright, so this is a first impressions video. I have been playing with this little device now for about a week. And I bought it for my other channel, the Room Room Zoom channel that I have for my motor vlogging. I like motor vlogging, and I have not liked the fact that on my little camera, my GitHub Git 2, there is an input that you put in here for your microphone. And for whatever reason, the microphone I got from eBay with this mini USB, it's not a micro, it's a mini. Uh, only does this left side mono rubbish and um, I'm pretty peeved off so I've uh, decided to go the alternate route for now and that's to do an external mic recording onto something like this and um, and then in post-production stick them all together and do it that way so uh, it cost about $24 from an Australian reseller to $24 Australian I think they're about 12 bucks, 13 bucks in the US, uh, yeah, and it's much, much smaller than I had imagined. It is tiny, so okay, I, I have quite small hands, and this is very small, so it's like fits in my hand, small. Okay, so just to give you an idea, uh, very simple to use. I'm actually really impressed with the simplicity and um, the battery life of this little beauty. Okay, just a quick user guide you turn it on the side, bloom up she comes. Uh, there's three main buttons. You have the up and down, forward, backwards, menu button, and then you have the volume button and this A, B thing, which I don't know what that does yet, but it doesn't matter. I've had it on a couple of my motorbike runs with me and I have not had to charge it. I'm not even close. Like, uh, let me just push a button here. Full battery still, and I've done like 28 small recordings and it's just the battery just keeps on going and going and going and going and going and going. So it does not use a lot of battery. Like I said, really easy to use. You just push record, it goes like that. And then when it starts counting, yep, good, we're away. Then I can, then it records. Um, it works quite nicely for, you know, for what you're paying. It records onto those those left and right stereo microphones there, and it's actually quite decent, what comes straight out of the machine. But what I've been doing is I've been using an, a cheap old school, I've had this, I've had this for ages, I've, I've been using one of these, it's just a uh, 3.5 mil, plugs into the microphone jack here. And then the headphone jack goes in here. I have listened to my recordings out of straight out of it because it has a little speaker here, but it doesn't sound anywhere near as good as it does from a headphone. So headphone in there to listen back to how good the quality is. Um, it does have eight gig of recording space, as you can see. Uh, I've been told, or just did my research, I found out it's, that's going to be plenty, way, way, way plenty. Uh, it's going to do hours and hours and hours. I'm assuming it's rechargeable unit. I haven't got to that point yet because the battery is, like I said, just keeps on plugging along. So nothing I can do to check that yet. I'm fairly certain I'll just charge off this mini USB here. The screen is actually very, I mean, for how cheap this thing is, that's a pretty awesome screen right there. The menu is easily accessible. You just push the menu button for a while. You just scroll across. Use the menu button to select things. Um, you can select the different modes. Uh, I'm yet to use it in a video, but um, giving it a go very soon, so you'll get a bit of an idea of this of the video sample coming out of this. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to use it for motor vlogging. One of the things I did find was that it came with a really, really poor uh, lapel microphone. And I don't even have it with me. I think I might have already uh, rage chucked it in the bin because it was just super annoying me how crap it was. So you, I plugged it in and just recorded this very tinny mute, low volume piece of crap audio. And then I checked it with this thing and this worked fine. Um, so when you go to buy just I don't know, maybe it could have been just my unit, and maybe I should have 
spoken to the reseller, but um, that little lapel microphone um, is poo-poo. It does not work, or it definitely did not work for me. Um, and it's not the unit, so I'm assuming it's the microphone. And uh, yeah, so I've got a new lapel that's just arrived today to um, also try it out, and it worked fairly well as well. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be motor vlogging with this, and you will see a lot more of this device and how it performs with um, you know inside of a helmet when it's recording. Yeah, apart from that, I, I'm very very impressed for what you get for this sort of money. So um, yeah, if you're into maybe a budget setup and want to do external recording, then give it a go. But um, like I said, it's only my first impressions. Uh, just give me a, give me a couple of sort of you know weeks months and. I'll uh, do a follow-up just to let you know how everything is going with this because I do have fairly high hopes now that I have my new microphone. So that's it. And yeah, if you've got any questions, if you want to know anything specific, just let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe, please. And uh, say hello. Um, any questions, just ask away. And I don't know how else I can show you any more of this beautiful little, quite well-constructed little recorder but there it is straight from ebay bye bye